And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Renekton, our last Garen deck. Uh, we're hopefully finished with a winning record today to get us back up to 500 or even better. So now we're going to have our same kind of Demacia start, but with Renekton being our other champion, we get to go on over to Sharima, where Sharima can have some more challenge stuff. We're going to have Merciless Hunter, which is just an amazing card, and Bakai Sandspinner. Both of those are going to be able to um, grant enemies vulnerable. And, you know, obviously granting enemies vulnerable is great with Renekton, but also, again, very good with Garen. Um, we're also going to be able to play Exhaust. Exhaust plus Garen should be pretty good. Um, with Garen has Challenger uh, with other things, but of course that will give something vulnerable. Uh, let's see. One Grand Plaza to be able to go along with Renekton and also a Golden Ages for Renekton, like where we can, um, you know, give Renekton Barrier and Rally, especially if it's like already gotten the plus two, plus one once, maybe gets the plus two, plus one again. Um, I thought about playing cataclysm i kind of decided to go with golden ages to get that barrier in instead of the cataclysm but the cataclysm you know so like the cataclysm gives the the plus two plus one because it challenges for renekton like automatically where the golden ages doesn't but the golden ages allows you to to attack with everything and so if we're kind of controlling the board i kind of felt like a rally where we get to attack with everything is is maybe a little bit more valuable than just the simple cataclysm so i ended up ended up cutting cataclysm in here um, but that is a card that looked that I thought I was going to be playing with Renekton. Um, but yeah, you know, it's still same kind of other Demacia stuff. Um, get a quicksand for some good interaction. Um, and that's kind of about it. All right, so let's play some Garen Renekton. Go play our five games in ranked. Fiora Zoe. I think I'm gonna just keep this hand, honestly. I love exhaust to go with Renekton. And I'm gonna just keep the second Renekton in case something happens to it. Let's do it. Hands looking even better. I'll just go ahead and pass, and if they want to pass as well and just waste their mana, I'm happy with that. Gotta find a gift for Renekton! Right, Arda? Wrap him up tight! I don't know what they're trying to say. With me not challenging the Sparkle Fly, I'm not sure what they're trying to say. So it looks like they have tons of spells in hand. They're just playing this stuff proactively, looking for cards. So I'm saying I could single combat to try to kill Zoe. I'm going to go ahead and give them a super cool star chart so that I can save the single combats for uh, having Renekton. I don't know why the 1-3 is not attacking. It's just one damage, but... You know, it could definitely be attacking. Not really sure why it's not. Alright, so fighting there. Because that's 6 damage for Renekton. Now Renekton, of course, still has Overwhelm. Gets the other 6 damage in. So we got leveled up. So the attack will now give plus three, plus three. I'll just save the spell mana for single combat. Um, don't need it. Like, this already has vulnerable. Don't really need to play the Merciless Hunter and give it vulnerable again. 
Last time I checked, you can only have vulnerable once. Bad for the teeth, though. Now it's permanent plus two plus two. Yeah, that's fine. And a long path to get here. Yeah, the egg, Egghead's too smart to, to brawl. Yeah, Egghead didn't want to get into a fight. I could. If I could threaten lethal by playing the Ruthless Predator, giving this vulnerable, challenging on the Overwhelm, and then putting the Sparkle Fly over here. No, mercy. no I'll just do this, though. Three mana left. That can't be the right play. I guess I just have to kill the Screeching Dragon. I kind of hate this. I have to kill Screeching Dragon. So we just have to kill that thing. I guess I should have just challenged it with Renekton to begin with. I should have just started there. I was too greedy just keeping Renekton alive. Not not a good play or turn, I don't think. But we'll see. It's they use a you know lots and lots of cards on that. And so will they have enough? on something else to race Renekton. I'm not sure. And so that's the thing, even though it wasn't very good value that way. That's got to be single combat, right? Sandra Trundle, second time we played against this deck today. Hadn't been seeing it at all recently. Second time now. Alright, Grand Plaza is going to go. And Cythria, probably a little slow. Cythria could be really nice getting through like the two ones and stuff like that, but probably shouldn't keep a six mana card against Lissandra Trundle. Border from here. 
Sentry, great blocker. Safeguard our homes. So the reason to do that, they do get that extra card right then. But I would rather my 2-1 trade with... Yeah, I'd rather the Fleet Feather Tracker trade with Sentry than trade with the Vile Feast. Sentry is pretty rough. My heart and sword for Demacia. Mm. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Well, we're just curving out. Let's <laughs> wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. No spell mana ever. You stall Eight mana reputation card. I, I don't know exactly what that is, but I doubt it's good. So we got them down to six. Stay Can we finish the job? Now their Garen's not really helping right now, because don't really need... Um, I just play Fleet Feather Tracker? No. I guess it is single combat. Single combat, they... Vengeance, I play new Garen. Of course, I want to kill Lissandra before they're able to, to grab a Watcher. Okay, we will now have Round Star Rally. Star Rally can be super useful. It's like Vile Feast is like their only card they like to play, right? So I'm not going to play the Fleet Feather Tracker right now because because they would Vile Feast the Fleet Feather Tracker. So we wait for the Vile Feast because they they need that for the blocker for the Cythria. And so now we play the Tracker. I mean, they're not dead. Ooh, that probably makes them dead. Let's see, no, because Scythera is still a 6 1. Yeah, I don't even know if I play that card. I guess I do. No. Yeah, alright. <laughs> but the thing is, is I'm still going to put it here, because it's just, their, their likely fast spells are. Withering Whale and Vile Feast. Where, if I have like the Tracker Challenge, For king and country. then they could, you know, like Vile Feast my Scythria and stay alive with the Scythria only having the one health. All right, new Garen. We got Round Star Rally. Let's do the same thing. Bleh. All right, they're down to one. It's just four mana. Played two avalanches so far. That 
anything gonna avalanche? Art is gonna make a meal of them. Wrap them up tight. Oh, I just drew vile feast. Gross. Playing all these things, they're all ephemeral. So that's four of them. Yep. Man, that vile feast. That was the card. That was the perfect top deck. You know, like, so this is the rest of their hand. Alright, so depending on what that top deck is. Hopefully it's nothing good. Ah, Ruination. Yeah, that's good. Because, of course, I was going to have my Merciless Hunter. was going to be able to have Fearsome and, and kill them. But that was a good top deck. All right, well, I guess I guess they win. Deep. We're playing against the big decks today. The last, last match Watcher, this match Deep. I kind of want to mulligan everything. Kind of want to mulligan everything. Send it all back. Give me the stuff. Bone skewer. Bone skewer works great with the toss cards. Resetting those top, you know, putting those back on top and resetting them. Those work great. Danger paid. Sharima. No, no surrender. Of course, that puts Renekton down to one health. Um, so I'm going to use the exhaust so I can keep two mana available because I want to be able to kill a Maokai with single combat. Now we have leveled up Renekton. It wasn't like my best use of exhaust, but that's what allowed me to kill Renekton. Or sorry, sorry, to kill Maokai. So that was a good turn. That was a pretty good turn. kind of have to pass because of Jaw Hunters. I can't, like, play Garen. They play Jaw Hunters, kill my Renekton. We fight for those who cannot. Hmm. 
they're looking looking for devour adepts All right, heal Ren Renekton back. This is me trading Vile Feast for Sharp Sight. If they have it, no need to proactively use Quicksand in this case and save Quicksand. still want to get rid of that because of um, because of Devour Depths. Want to get rid of that 4-4. Alright, there we go. Renekton just too big. That was a pretty awesome Grand Plaza into Renekton turn for sure. Thresh Nasus. Alright, let's see how Renekton does. Post gone. Uh, I don't know. I have the attack token on the even turns. I guess no. Let's keep protector because protector can protect us against, you know, turn two shenanigans of um, curse keeper, black curse keeper plus uh, ravenous butcher. I guess. I don't know, so we got the Psychhead Researcher. Play this Researcher. Alright, high roll in with the Researcher. Can we play that? So that's six, seven, eight, nine damage. I guess I don't really need to play Plaza. Just kind of considering, do I need to play Plaza? Probably not. That will, of course, allow them to have their 4-3. Still challenge the Ren Renekton, because it will still be vulnerable. So this is only vulnerable this round. Vile Feast. Alright, that's a Vile Feast that's not killing anything else. No closer. Um, yeah, it's only vulnerable this round. This is my opponent. We have two cards left. I get violent when I'm bored. Hopefully those two cards aren't too great. Yeah, they don't want to play Thresh first because I guess they don't want me to be able to challenge Thresh. Yeah. 
Light of Caretaker, of course, is the worst possible scenario. That would put me down to one as is. Or, yeah, put me down to one. It's intriguing. I don't know, that's intri that was intriguing to block. A lot of options. A lot of options. By my side. Soldier, to me. Going double fearsome. Don't hold back. Double fearsome. Okay, so they can stay alive. Not by much, but I used the other Thresh in their hand. Used up everything in their hand. So I feel pretty good about this, especially how we're going to have all these Fearsomes next round. They have to top deck Nasus. It's like the only card. They did not. Okay. Three and one. That's why you don't emote too early, right there. Ooh, we've really struggled against the Draven Jinx kind of deck today. We've uh, played against it a couple of times and lost each time with them having very good hands. I am going to keep this. We have the attack token on the odd turns. Again, just kind of need this uh, Bright Seal Protector to protect me against the two drops. Don't love playing it. You know, don't love trading it with like a one mana two one. Like a Zonite Urchin. Ooh, getting rid of a Get Excited. Not a Jury Rig. That's pretty lucky. They've been discarding Jury Rigs recently. My favorite trade of all time, but a necessary trade. It's just too likely if, if I pass, they pass. I kind of want to have Merciless Hunter out for, like, you know, they go Draven. No, I haven't played against any Nightfall on the ladder today. We did play against Zoe Diana. But that's like the all all invoke deck. You know, it's not really a nightfall deck, but it's just all, all invoke, but it does have Diana and Pill Cascades. So that's the that's the closest that we've played against. Gonna find a gift for an acting! Right, Arda? Let's do this. This isn't. So let's see. I go. Okay, so if I single combat, I go to eleven. This one's a fight. It's probably better to do this. I should. I should have just gave the Draven vulnerable. Yeah, I should just gave the Draven vulnerable. That was just too cute by me thinking that I was gonna be single combated and killing the Draven. Yeah, that was probably too cute. You're dead mate. Okay, maybe I am gonna single combat kill the Draven. Puts us to eleven. Draven down. We fight for those who cannot. We have good top end cards, but we kind of have too many of them. So 
We're doing this with Garen, so you know Garen gets the strike, of course, but then also Garen has the regen. I need to be able to double spell in these turns, and I just can't double spell. So I either go Concerted Strike on the Jinx and block the crowd favorite and my Garen dies and I take no, da you know, I just take the, the seven damage. Or that's just, it's just not going to win me the game though. I think I have to risk it, block over here, strike, and just hope that they can't, if they level up Jinx, I, I lose the game on the spot here. But if they're like able to level up Jinx, I'll probably lose anyway. But I just, I just gotta hope they can't level up Jinx, but obviously with, with them doing this, it's looking like they can. I gotta hope that's a unit in hand. Oh, it is a unit! They messed up! We must not relax. Okay. So can we stabilize? What's the worst that could happen? What science without a little risk? That's not good. That's not good. We do what is right. Me about dragons, I just may have an answer. No, they they discarded. Get excited. Uh, turn one to the urchin. They didn't dis discard Jinx. They they may have discarded Jinx another time because they did play two urchins. I don't know what they discarded the second urchin, the round three urchin. No, they discarded flame chompers. Okay, well. I stand ready. So we have to go down to three. Yeah, the, the Experimentor was a great last card, even though, you know, it did let me kill the Jinx, but man, it just, I just needed one more health, probably, because this is, this, the most likely outcome, of course, is going to be, um, is going to be Get Excited. You're so close. So close. Jerry Rig Burst Speed got me. Alright, so Garen Renekton uh, finished out with the 3 2. So that did get us back to our 500 record on the day. You know, not, not necessarily the best, but you know, you'll still take it against these really good quality decks in ranked. Um, so that was fun. I have to say, this was maybe my favorite version of the day. I think so. Um, Renekton really looked good. Obviously, you have Merciless Hunter, that's amazing. But Renekton just really looked good. Looked great with the Grand Plaza. Those two together were awesome. Um, and then, you know, just having like your different combat spells like Sharp Sight, Single Combat. These cards were amazing with Renekton. Um, so, yeah, I, I liked this version with, with Renekton quite a bit. Um, it was pretty easy to challenge enemies with Renekton between Grand Plaza or Merciless Hunter granting Vulnerable or Exhaust. Very easy. Um, so I did play Egghead Researchers over um, over Rockhopper. I just don't think Rockhopper is that good of a card, especially how there's so many 1-1s attacking these days. I just, I just don't really like Rockhopper that much. And so we played uh, Egghead Researcher instead. And I, I, didn't, I didn't regret it. I liked the Egghead Researcher more. Um, we A few times we got some Clutch Dragons out of the researcher and the rock hopper I don't know, just that roiling sands is very easy to play around um but 
yeah, this version this version went pretty well. I think if I would change anything, maybe maybe just get rid of Screeching Dragon for something else early. Uh, it did seem like that, that you know, like sometimes we just had a little bit too much top end, like against these aggro decks, couldn't quite stabilize. Maybe we needed um, you know something else early, or, or maybe that Screeching Dragon could be like a Radiant Guardian, right? Like maybe we could get a little bit of Nexus healing in here with a card like Radiant Guardian. Um, I could see that helping out, um, but. Oh well. Anyway, it was a good deck and a good show, a good way to show off Renekton. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Hopefully, y'all really enjoyed Champion Spotlight Day um, with us showing off all these Garen decks. Hopefully, you didn't get too 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 tired of seeing Garen decks because uh, we played four different regions and all you know pretty competitive, right? Three twos, two threes, um, in ranked. Like that's that's what you hope for, right? So they're all competitive decks um, in ranked. All right, but that's going to be it here for Garen Renekton. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you for the next video.